What's up, YouTube? This is Leigh from Leigh Productions, and today I will be showing you how to draw a not-so-detailed, cartoonish-looking person and a more detailed-looking um, person. Now, um, just bear with me because I'm not a very good drawer. And let's get started. Now, here's my paper and my pencil. And that's what you will need, obviously, for this video if you want to follow along. And let's get started. So for the basic person, we would start out with a head. Circleized head, like that. It's not too good, but oh well. And then here... Go ahead and do that for one shoulder, and then you continue it off like this. Now you don't have to do it in the same position I'm putting it in, but if you want to and you're following along and you don't know quite how to do it, then you can go ahead and follow. So once I have done that, For the arms and then the neck and then the head what you will do is you will continue here down and then that's what it looks like so far then I will go ahead and put the legs on just like that for one then like that for the other now this is one foot this is the other and then here for the line I would just kind of extend it up a little bit. So we have one leg and then the other. And then I would put a line here for the pants. And then for the shirt, I'd put a line there and a line there. Um, now, this is something really cool about um, drawing. So for the face, I could make it look forward like that by just placing the eyes in the mouth and in the center of the face. If I wanted it to look that way, you could go ahead and put it like that and it's look it looks like it's looking that way. And then if I wanted to make it look that way, I could go ahead and put the face on that side. And so therefore I can make it look to that way, that way, or just forward. So that's something I like. Now I will just make it look forward for this video and um can make the line here for where the shirt begins so here's the neck and then the face now I won't color it today first of all because right now I forgot colored pencils and I don't have them right now they're in my classroom and um, I probably won't have enough time to do that because right now it's like late at night so anyway um that's the basic person, not so detailed and cartoonish looking. And then for the more detailed drawing, um, I will be using a model. This is the model, so that's the head. And then it comes down like that. Now, if you're really interested in drawing, and you do not have a model yet then what you can and you really want one what you can do is you can go to barnes and noble um for barnes and noble and then um you can get one from there and so it is called an artist's model um, it's a movable model. The only thing I don't like about it is if you want to make it, like, really, like, in a cool pose, like, really cool pose. The only thing is you can't bend the arms too much because it has a spring. So if I can go like that. Oh, there you go. You can see from there. So you see there how it has a spring. Get it to focus. See, there's a spring right there, so therefore I won't let you go too much. See, so it'll just fall.
flop back. Um, I don't know. This is just the small one. Um, it's just really close up. It's right about this big. But this is the small one. Um, I don't know if that same, like if it has springs in the big one. Because I don't have the big one. But, um, the art is still pretty good. If you're interested in drawing, I would definitely recommend it. Now, here for a more detailed drawing. Um, what you would do is, um, I don't know what position I should make it in. Um, okay, I'll just make it in the same position. So here, start out with the head. And like that. Then I would put a bubble here for the neck. And then I would continue down here for the torso. And then um, down here for the waist. Um, oh, I'll make it doing a split. So here, go like that, put it to the side a little bit. Then um, here I have one joint. I don't know what it's called, but there's a joint. And then here is the kneecap. So there's the kneecap, and then might be a little too long. All right, then here's the ankle. I'd kind of just draw it like that, kind of like that, so that the foot looks like it's bending a little bit there. Make a split. Then here, I'd put it, the other joint there. Extend a little bit. Put joint go like this put the ankle and then the joint I mean the foot my bad and then so therefore it looked like that for the legs now we have this joint the um, kneecap and then the ankle and then the foot so and then lines in between and that's what makes the legs now here on the side of the torso I'll be putting that for a shoulder, a shoulder joint, and then um, just I'll make the person raising its arms in the air, kind of like that. Be a little too much there. All right, kind of like that. Then the hand is there. And then the wrist, then here, kind of like that. So now, if I wanted to make it um, look like a real person, I just kind of erase the joints and replace them in with lines. Oh, I forgot to make a bubble here for the waist. Well, um, if you're doing it, just remember to put the bubble there for the waist. I forgot to do it because I don't really use the model now. Um, because I'm really used to... Um, I can, like, picture the model in my head. So, therefore, I don't really look at it too much. I just kind of go with the flow. Anyway. So, I would just kind of go like that. I'm liking the way this one is turning out. So, therefore, it will be turning into a an actual looking person. There we go. And then I'm going to place these other few joints. And then we will compare them and so you can see how this one looks way more realistic than the other. Alright, I'm going to put a face. Ding. Actually, since this one is supposed to be more realistic, I'll go ahead and... Okay, that looks a little weird. But, oh well.
There we go. Alright, so the difference is this one is a realistic one. This one is a cartoonish. Um, so that's the difference. And I really appreciate it that you have watched it. If you have enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you have if you put a thumbs up. And um, I hope you enjoyed it a lot. Um, if you have any questions or comments about this video, go ahead and leave it in the comments area. And um, if you have any suggestions for the next video, please go ahead and let me know about that in the comments as well. And thank you for watching. Lay Productions out.